maybe only two more games remaining it's the penultimate game of the day as we move into match 15. two more spots remain in the weekly final who is going to be able to bag it so far so good for china and south korea today who is going to join them sims and pansy bring us the grassy pastures Ooh. we'll do our best for you hey, yeah, 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 okay yeah, yeah. welcome back <laughs> I don't know what to say anymore, man. My brain's just, just out of it at this point, let alone how these teams feel. But we are starting off in the south, heading towards the north, just kind of over Millie Island. Faye's opting to go for a drop here. Okay. Uh, so not the usual, I guess, Milter. They, they've been switching up. A lot of the teams have had to show versatility throughout this. Um, not too surprising. But how are you feeling, man? This has been wild so far. I'm feeling good. Probably a lot better than what these players are because this is just the, the mental gymnastics that must be happening amongst these rosters. It, it is getting to that point where you know you've only got two lives left. You know you've only got two opportunities for Liquid. I, I can't even imagine what the guys are going through now after a 16th place. And don't get me wrong, I know the memes are in abundance that they do get 16 places quite often. But at this stage in the game, this l late in the tournament, a 16th place is such a huge devastating blow i can't imagine and begin to fathom what the mindset must be we do bring in another team triple a will be here and they'll be getting involved in the frame just below damn one Kier at the moment as you can see amongst gatka and you know what the circle is favorable for them so fires through it there is a molly there area of denial fantastic work from tsg to try and hold them back outside the window ike's left one of the strongest players within this goes down instantly and now Sia, quick to respond. They can wrap around on this. They know they can't get inside because Volibear is holding them back. They all have to take this from a different approach. Mamu is there to hold the cross. That's a bloody good shot. But all of a sudden, Sparking and Metagaming, they hear what's happening at the foothills. They hear there is an opportunity to get involved with a third party. Mamu goes down and Petrico Road is seamlessly being picked apart by two different teams, being held back by Volibear, holding them outside keeps them quiet for now yeah this is indeed a bloody nightmare for both of these sides and in the aftermath it looks like just maybe one lone survivor maybe not they actually get no one away from that because of the third party from tsm from the hillside so at the moment they'll at least be able to recover get everything back together and we see every other team trying to find their way in lg divine going on the swing around base plan have a bit of a split on either side of the quarry so get a nice crossfire building through this maybe catch a bit of damage but lg divine have to end up somewhere and already a player's just been plucked out of the vehicle it will go to 8 cnn but it's fit to find it and it looks like they're pulling up towards navi's compound they're now slow on the approach they're forced to, to send it oh no 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 okay tsm They've turned up to the wrong party. They thought this was just one team. LG Divine's actually outside while Navi's inside. It's not going too well, but there's... Oh, that gets even better. It's only Ira standing in a one versus one. Uh, never mind, because Navi spots him. TSM falls in 15th position. Bye -bye. That's a survivability play. Whether all players can get together. Another drive by oh, Willem Fold as the nade goes off. The car pulls up, gets out of the Uber, and says bye-bye LG Divine. Raspu's resable unless Senya gets a deeper angle. Meta made a mad dash as well. Look at this position they've garnered. And here we go. And DA fly on in. It looks like one player is there from AAA though. Nade in hand getting ready for what's coming in. Oh, that's going to be the turtle upside down. But of a spray down. And it's easy for Jay as Nade comes in. DA are getting shredded. This is not pretty by any means. And the circle updates towards the east. That's so clever to not be upstairs just to sit down and work on the back side of it. FaZe committed a lot of utility. Dan Wonkia, meanwhile, in the kill feed, is not having the best of days. Sparking, big player removed, big scalp gone down. Gustav fans him with a nade. Indigo confirmed. Under still bleeding out the wayside. Spyro ticking these nades away. Utility will be committed by VP. They've not had to expend any of it just yet, as long as they send it flying towards these vehicles. Kale should probably be done and dusted. There's another nade in front of him. Just survives for now. Senya onto Raspu. Another nade comes into the fray. Meta Gaming still feel the full force of FaZe Clan. And they've pretty much removed them from that position. Two of them left on the opposing side to go off against Na'Vi. W wicked. Quick on the draw. Senya hits the deck and they have this one shank to try and work with. This is a mess. Over by this corner compound. Na'Vi has stayed here for quite some time. 
and they are battling tooth and nail to stay alive, but everyone is surrounding them. They are trapped within this compound. There is absolutely no way they get out of this alive. VP, I've got to say as well, made the right decision to hit this rotation. Now, Ents could be their problem, their biggest problem yet. Damn one have not had a favorable fight towards them. And look at this, just death from above and Mert out of nowhere. Where did that just come from? DA getting a knock on towards VP, but VP have flush down one here who are holding very good ground initially but couldn't quite make it away from that compound in a good amount of time now as it stands da i thought they'd be preoccupied with potentially triple a but no they were able to turn their attention towards vp punish them take them down to three huge amount of ground to cover for anybody who's currently southwest VP, first player to fall, Batulans. Clip behind a tree, spots him. Batulans instantly confirmed. Can't get him back on his feet. Still the vehicle in abundance for VP, so maybe they can just try and send it to the center. Because everyone, generally speaking, is playing the outer extremities here. They need to be careful. They don't drop in on N. Smurt holds for a second. They are going to push this, though. They know they damaged him. The mine is down, and he is dismantling players as they come through. The quick swing from Code Marco, but a nade at least silences him for all but a moment they will put the flashbang down in case the pop comes through that'll hit the door and you would oh no it's come back on himself he tried to get the angle inside the building instead it forces himself back sits there doing not much to be honest with you they really i i stand completely corrected they went for a full flank around the back of da that is phenomenal work that's actually solid Okay, we got to look elsewhere though. Now turn your attention towards the east. It's been kind of brewing in the background. Narvi trying to build their way out of that compound. Good two tap from tab. Finds Peng, but the spray comes back in from Sia. And it is just Sia. Senya on the push needs to get rid of him, but there it is. Found from further afield, and it will be solidified. The Narvi will move further forward with three, probably after this res and triumphant go down. There's seven teams left. E36, VP, Ents, Liquid, DA, face. This has to be an EU win now, Rich. I'll, I'll take the curse on. I'll take it on. I'm ready. I am ready to be hated if I have to be. You can't not win this now. Liquid Ents still in this towards the north. The center point VP E36 phase a little further south, and then southeast is Navi. And while this happened, I'm pretty sure Fuzzface got knocked and flushed as well. So keep your eyes towards what remains. Phase with three building from the south. And it's all kind of coming down to this VP now getting crunched upon. That's Tab taking a stride in the right direction for Na'Vi, securing their path in from the southeast. Senya's going to pick up on that and move further forward. All gravitating towards E36, who... <laughs> Our center circle. Um, Liquid trying to disengage away from Ents as well. Ents just trying to live on those outskirts, work their way in as best they can up towards the very polar north. Sparrow has been flushed. Area of denial against the tree to try and force Navi into the open. Iruzen working with very, very limited life here. Does have one. Med kit, at least. It's something. It's better than nothing. Hopefully gets the level 3 gear, which gives him the level of survivability. Never mind. Besto. Nail. Coffin. Squeaky bum time. Besto. Up against the blue. Gets tapped as well. Needs to be really careful that the blue doesn't touch him, because otherwise it will knock him. Doesn't have time to heal up. Can fall back to the rest of Na'Vi. Tab trying to keep an eye line on where Faze are, but now they know with that gun rocking in the distance, it's going to be problematic. Tab, brilliant knock onto Whitesea. The rest of them scatter. Panic stations begin. Besto cycling the nade. The molly goes up, tries to push him back. But the more they do this, the less time there is to try and advance forward with the blue. It keeps them pinned up against it. Like, now V could maybe even wrap forward of them and just bottleneck them. Good nade in the kill feed, by the way. Could that be the go symbol oh, for Liquid no. to try and push on? Oh, the molly as well, again. the follow-up. Yep, this is looking rough for a good couple of teams. Liquid about to push Ents. Ents are kind of on the back foot here. Gustav's just found Tab. And again, E36 quietly waiting patiently, just keeping their heads down, watching the wall kind of unfold around them. Gustav looking for his pixel out of place on that ridge line. Liquid want to get this done, but Ents not giving it away. Tixu quietly, patiently waiting in case someone peeks that ridge line. He would get the shot first. My heart is racing right now. I have no idea. Why do I feel no like they're going to get away with something here? Okay, they've the been seen. We've seen them. Others. 
Yeah, this is the first commitment now. Ends move forward phase, giving up the game. They've heard the shots to the left-hand side. Diggory takes him full simultaneously. Senior also. Navi, first one to fall. Big Nate comes in. Uber, time to step Ends up to gone. the plate. Where's the rest of them? So we've lost two just like that. It comes down to one player of E36 face clan. Team Liquid melting away. The mollies are down. How many players are left standing? 2v2. That's all that remains for both these teams. FaZe can get a res, get three back up, but I don't know if they're going to get the time for it. AT going to be tasked with keeping them at bay. Ivy on the wrap as well. Clip trying to get the heal off. Ivy now in towards the blue. Buddy, you got to get moving. Uber's going to catch you. Uber's got a great spray towards Ivy. One H shot. Easy shot comes Mighty. out in the end. And the positioning from IT was perfect. FaZe finally do it. And it's a sigh of relief. This isn't just excitement and all of this, it's we've made it to the weekend. That's what they needed. That is exactly what they needed. The ticket through. And with only other one game spared, they did it almost in the final game. Damn, I'm in the matrix, my mind is living on cloud nine